Hey guys, we're now back in the Ars Alley with uh, Rose and Thorn Leather, and this is David here who makes some pretty unique leather ar um, armor, I guess you could call it. Hey David, tell me exactly what inspired you to do this. Well actually, what inspired me to do this was my wife. She apprenticed the man from England for three years to learn the craft of armor making. Really? Is it, so there are actually still people who do that? There are, indeed. Wow. And, and this is your work, right? Or is this this just... is entirely our work. We build everything you see we've got. And everything's leather. <laughs> How much of it do you do? Well, the armor, I pretty much do 100% of it. I do have a lot of apprentices that do the lesser work now. <laughs> um, where is your most um, unique art? <laughs> what is your more um, intricate artwork like? Well, my intricate artwork... Here's a, an example of it, for instance. That would be a Nordic horse put onto leather. It's called tooling. Or you could uh, look at this suit of armor here, which isn't on camera. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's all right. Basically, um, we can do pretty much any image you can imagine, such as your shirt, for instance. I could put that onto leather. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Chocobo no on the armor, guys. Chocobo armor. That's right. <laughs> And the one thing I actually have to ask is, like, what's with the brassiers? What's with the brassiers? <laughs> well, they're gorgeous. And they're actually our most popular item. Do Ladies they actually, love them. Do they actually support or do they're they the just most, protect? Okay. One, they fit anybody, and they are the most comfortable thing any lady has ever worn. I've had ladies literally put them on and be like, I've never worn anything this comfortable and this supportive. <laughs> you can sleep in our armor, and people often do. <laughs> <laughs> Also, <laughs> if I may say, my armor, this is just a unique part of what we build. We build combat grade leather, which is built for oak weapons and steel. Blunted, mind you. No. But it's fully articulated, so the body actually moves with you. And it's ventilated. There's a lot of other features, but basically this armor fits you perfectly. Like a tailored armored suit. In the words of uh, another comedian, like a glove. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and I must say this, though. It's like, do you have your own? Do you have your own leather you know, armor set? Oh, I get asked that quite a bit, actually. <laughs> what happens is I build the armor and then I sell the armor. I never manage to keep one. Would you want to build one for yourself? Oh, of course. I do build them for myself, but then I just sell them. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, for all our fans and the people who are watching, where can they go to get your armor? Well, you can find us online at roseanthornleather.com or you can uh, look us up on Facebook as well. There you go, guys. You can get yourself some nice leather armor for all your combat needs or just to support yourself. Thank you, David, for your time here. And, guys, more back from uh, Anime Salt Lake 2013.